Thank you for purchasing a Simply Scented Wax Melter. Let's get it set up. This is what will arrive to you at your door, and if we open it up, this is what you'll see inside. Get rid of some of the packaging. So we've got a lid. Let me just pop here for a second. Inside here is the main melter. And then we also have your extra thermo plug, which I'll show you how to set up in a moment. And you also have an elbow tap that can be screwed onto the melter to make it easier to pour into smaller containers or jars. You also get a user manual um, and your glass lid with the attached handle that can be screwed on to be put on the top at the end. First thing that you'll need to do is uh, take the dial on the side and just slot it on to the side of your melter. It only fits in one position so you can't get it wrong. Next, we're going to set up our thermo plug. To do this, all you need to do is undo the tub at the back and extend this cord. This part here is your thermometer and it's going to go into the melter, like so. And that's fine just like that. And the rest, then we're going to plug this part in to your socket. Like so. So to set up the thermo plug, so it works with your melter, all you need to do is plug the melter into the thermo plug, like so, and switch it on. How it works is you need to decide what temperature you want the wax to be held at inside your melter. And let's say that we want to have it set at 70 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the set button and go to the bottom one here that says stop temperature off. And we're going to raise that up to 70 degrees. If you hold it, it will just count through quickly. So we're going to get that to 70 degrees. Like so. And then we're just going to press set again. And now we'll do the top one and we're going to turn that to 69 degrees. So again, we can just hold it. Until we get to 69 degrees. Perfect. And then when we're done with that, we can just click mode and that will set it. So what we've done here is we've set it at 70 degrees. So what will happen is the melter will keep, keep um, heating up until the wax inside is at 70 degrees and then it will turn the melter off completely. Once that's done, the thermometer will keep, will keep tabs of the temperature of the wax inside and when it drops down to 69 degrees, then it will turn the melter on again until it keeps with 70, until it reaches 70 again. So this means that your wax temperature will always be between 69 and 70 degrees, no matter how long you leave it in the melter and no matter how long it takes you to use it and pour and make your candles or melts or whatever else you're doing with your wax. Once that's done, we're ready to go. All you need to do is take your wax, pour it into your melter and keep pouring until you've filled it up to the top. Um, once the wax is melted and it's fully liquid, all you need to do is open up the spout here. Like so, it might be a little bit stiff the first time, but then as you can see, it opens and closes easily. And your wax will pour out into the, any jug that you want it to be, whether it's into a larger jug to add fragrant soils or straight into a candle, um, you can do that. A little tip, if you're at the stage when you're ready to pour your candles and everything in here is melted, but the wax isn't coming out, what's probably happened is you will have a small blockage of semi-melted wax here in the tap. All you need to do is get a thermometer or a small skewer and you can just open the tap up, push the wax out and then close it off again. When you do that, make sure that you have a container underneath to catch any spillage wax that comes out. But once that's moved out of the way, everything else from here will flow freely until you're finished with the wax. If you are done with the wax and there's still some in it, that's not a problem at all. You can just turn everything off and add the lid onto the top and that will keep your wax safe for another day.